Welcome to another season of series on this channel. The series I will call May Mary Series. I'm Wilson Karugaba, Mirili missionary from Uganda, broadcasting from Nairobi, Kenya. And as I promised at the end of our Lent series, of which I hope you enjoyed and must have learned something from them, especially concerning the season of Lent. We come again at the beginning of this month of May, the month the Catholic Church has set aside to honor Mary, our Virgin Mother, the Mother of the Church, the Mother of God. In the Catholic Church, May is officially the month of Mary, different from October, which is the month of the Rosary. This is day one, and on this day one, we would like to understand why is May called the month of Mary. In his encyclical, Mense Maio, encyclical on the month of May 1965, Saint Pope Paul VI acknowledged that the month of May has traditionally been a time when the church has urged her people to offer prayers and acts of devotion honoring the Blessed Virgin Mary. The tradition dedicating the month of May to Mary began in the 13th century, and the naming of May as Our Lady's month was an attempt to replace the pagan festivals and to turn them into the worship of the true God and the veneration of Mary, the mother of Jesus. The roots go back as far as the ancient Greeks. In the early Greece, May was dedicated to Artemis, the goddess of fecundity, which is the ability to produce an abundance of offsprings or new growth, what we call fertility. In the ancient Rome, May was dedicated to Flora, the goddess of blooms or blossoms. The Romans celebrated floral games at the end of April and asked the intercession of Flora for all that blooms. This is because May is the time when the spring is at the height of its beauty, when nature is renewing itself. In the medieval times around the 13th century, similar customs abounded, all centering around the practice of expelling winter as May 1st was considered the start of the new growth. During this period, the tradition of preaching or the 30-day devotion to Mary came into being, also called Lady Month. The event was held from August 15 to September 14 and is still observed in some areas. Although it wasn't always held during May, Mary Month included 30 days spiritual exercises honoring Mary. It was in this era that Mary's month and May was combined because the new beginning and the new birth in nature reminds us of the life Mary gave to Jesus. Without Mary giving birth to Jesus, all the events that followed, that is Jesus' life, death and resurrection, would not have happened. We believe that May, that when nature is showing signs of new life, is the ideal month to honor the woman who gave life to our Savior. Paul, the six in his encyclical again says, May is the occasion for a moving tribute of faith and love that Catholics in every part of the world pay to the Queen of Heaven. During this month, Christians, both in the church and in the privacy of their home, offer up to Mary from their hearts 
and especially fervent and loving homage of prayer and veneration. In this month, the benefits of God's mercy come down to us from her throne in the greater abundance. The month of Mary begins with the feast of St. Joseph the Worker, which we celebrate today. As a carpenter, St. Joseph worked very hard. His manual labor was difficult, and he is a great example to all of us in our daily work. In addition, he is a powerful intercessor for those who are seeking employment. Work is a means of participating in the work salvation, an opportunity to evolve our talents and abilities and to put them at the service of the society. Working persons, whatever their job may be, are cooperating with God himself and in some way become creators of the world around us. St. Jose Maria teaches us that we can make our work holy by doing it the love of God. Let us aim at completing our tasks and doing them as perfect as possible and ask the intercession of St. Joseph to always sit for us as we work for God and for the service of the others. I wish you a happy Labor Day and happy feast day of St. Joseph the Worker and a happy beginning of Mary's month of May, and I invite you to pray with Mary during this Marian month. Let us especially commend to her our prayers for life, marriage, and religious life, for our jobs, and for the work of our hands, our families, friends, and relatives, and all of our unknown intentions, so that through her they may reach her son, Jesus. Let us all place our lives and ourselves in the school of Mary to learn from her how to love God more fervently and love one another as her son has loved us. May the Blessed Virgin Mary intercede for us and draw us closer to Christ, her son. Amen.